beautiful. How do we say volvemos? Volvemos, yes. Yeah, ah, gracias, muchas gracias. Uh, let's just say these lines, let's say, say these words so we can get all these V's becoming B. Polvo. Polvo y trigo, arena en las arenas. Uh, el tiempo, el agua errante. El viento vago nos llevó como grano navegante. Nos llevó y nos llevó como grano navegante. Pudimos no encontrarnos en el tiempo, esta pradera en que nos encontramos. Oh pequeño infinito, devolvemos, devolvemos. That's much better. Yeah. Um, I love the way you're, you sound fluid and fluent. Um, when I ask next time, can you not be so fluid? Imagine you are selling it on the Metropolitan Opera stage to the back and you'd have to be a little slower yeah. and you'd, you'd have to say polvo en el trigo, arena en las arenas, el tiempo, el agua errante, el viento vago nos llevó como grano navegante, los llevó como grano navegante, pudimos no encontrarnos en el tiempo, es la pradera en que nos encontramos, oh pequeña infinito. So it's, it's oh, so I became Italian then, um, <laughs> but it's um, there's there's got to have this this airiness in your voice, which I did detect a little bit of. Um, um, so en las arenas, en tiempo. Is it, again, you don't have to be completely. Um, strict with these because uh, you've just got tremolando underneath you here so uh en agua errante you've got a lovely double r there so you can really press um the the rippling water you can give us an idea of what errante means to you personally so you can express that um your personal experience of what it's like to be in this in, in nature's extraordinary feeling it and the feeling that nature gives to you and how it makes you feel um uh the vague the el viento vago and it's all a big crescendo to the big f sharp um uh, so i would suggest don't give so much in the poco agitato um i was trying to find a metronome i've got my little my monster metronome here <laughs> i'm trying to find 58 what, what do you think, Sean, you started at there? Um, I mean, we don't want to obey, obey metronome marks too much. What's 58? You see, I thought you started too fast. Yeah. Am I, am I right? Yeah. Did it, it sort of took off a bit. And so that by the time we get to the big moment, we're so fast, <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a gabble. Okay. So maybe take it a bit slower, and it says freely in my score. Mm -hmm. So by that he means take your time to get the words, the meaning across. Yeah. So yeah. don't rush it. Polvo en el trigo, arena en las arenas. Okay. Have a go. Just go from, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. 
nice bees. Well done. Barbemos. Very nice. Um, you're holding on notes that actually don't do anything for the excitement, the build, the build. You're going, and it's only a, a quarter note. Hang on. Eighth note. Quaver. Yeah. You know, just let, let these notes go so that if you hold on to them, then we're, we're lulled into some different mindset. Yeah. I, I, we're trying to, you're trying to tell us about all these beautiful things that you've experienced, that, that nature has to offer. And so rather than emote during these, uh, this, this description, just tell us simply what they are. You know, they are, they are the, the dust, the sand, uh, the rippling waters, the, 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 the seeds being blown in the wind. Uh, it's just a very, it's actually a very straightforward thing, but it's the excitement of, of these experiences that represent love. You know, this is it's what it feels like to you. So do just tell us more simply what these experiences are, as if you were telling a child perhaps you've got, you know, God, oh, this is amazing. You know, have just a bit more wonder in your, um, perhaps, you know, think about having a bit more wonderment and um, don't try to sing it so much is also a good, a good piece of advice. Just, it's quite wordy, it's quite rhythmic. Um, uh, you've got this word, um, o pequeño infinito. It's only a, a, a hang on. A quaver is an eighth note, isn't it? Let me just get this right. Was that a quarter note? A quarter note is a crotchet. A quaver is an eighth note. Am I right? <laughs> Someone correct me for God's sake. Um, so you've got a pequeño infinito. Let it go. That wasn't F sharp, doesn't matter. A pequeño. And then before you repeat the, the phrase, what am I going to do with it the second time? to why has he written that phrase twice? Maybe ask yourself that question that they should both be different. Yeah. Um, I would suggest, you don't have to take my suggestion, please. This is just, I'm just here for this, this, uh, this morning. So ignore it by all means tomorrow. But I would suggest that the first time you do it, it's not so big. Okay. It's more of a growing sensation. It's just occurred to you this, you know, that we are, it's, it's also small, pequeño infinito. Pequeño, so pequeño infinito, oh, pequeño. And then he gives you the triplet rhythm, which is to, yeah. is to emphasize how meaningful it is to you. So you go, oh, pequeño, pequeño, oh my God, oh my God, this is, we are so small in the face of all this beauty. Yeah. Um, so the first one is more sort of, this is just, that feeling when you when you feel you've listened to the most beautiful piece of music ever and you just go oh you take that intake of breath and you think that was incredible and then you hear it and then say Wagner uh, he does the same phrase again only this time more forcefully and you just think wow so maybe the second time add more concrete positive energy the first one is more of a sort of it creeps up on you um, so you don't whack out the F sharp, perhaps, so loudly the first time. But the second one, it's sforzando in my score rather than forte. So that must mean he wants that to have, be more emphasized. Pequeño, pequeño, rather than o pequeño infinito, pequeño infinito, o pequeño, pequeño. Um, so try um, not necessarily hitting the, um, the first pequeño quite so dramatically as the second one. Give that a go, sort of breathe into the F sharp more. Okay. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe just go from esta pradera, this, this prairie, this meadow, Yeah. <laughs> 
Right, that's, you know, you did that beautifully. That was perfect. My question now is when it returns to the tempo, mm -hmm. it's returning to the 72 to the crotchet and you were slower than that. And we, we lose the afterglow because it's suddenly become too introvert all of a sudden. Yeah. It's all pequeño, pequeño, infinito. Devolvemos, devolvemos, devolvemos. Yeah. And it just winds down, like you're saying, like, you know, sort of like it would naturally. So don't lose your energy that you've built so beautifully. Pequeño, pequeño, infinito, devolvemos, devolvemos. Yes. It, we give back, devolvemos. You know, you could almost speak the last one. You don't have to sing it, for goodness sake. Devolve. Will you give me a D, please, Sean? Devolvemos. You know, why not use the S to, yeah. to express? It doesn't, it doesn't have to be sung. I mean, I don't think Peter was one of these composers who, who over annotated, thank God. Um, uh, I think he did leave quite a lot up to his, you know, wonderful wife so she could play around with it. So, and so can we. So where we can use the words, just, you know, if it's obviously in the speech part of your voice, why not? Why not cut it short and use the expression? Because if you're saying something three times, we've got to do something different with it, right. haven't we? We can't just go, devolvemos, devolvemos. Um, for example, one of them, he's written a, um, a, li a line underneath, in the middle one, on the A. Mm -hmm. um, so don't do that with the preceding one. Okay. Uh, right. If you need it all, would you give me a B flat, please? I don't have to do that for goodness sake just do whatever you like but don't don't drop the tension that you've built up yeah. and just be more natural speak it more um um but i have to say the bit before was a massive improvement